Hi everyone, welcome back. And basically, all these videos were filmed around two months ago. So, what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to commentate on all of them, and then just up quickly edit and then upload. Because most of the actual video editing is done, I just have to commentate and then edit, kind of edit the commentation, and then boom, it's done. Although, the thing is, you know how sometimes I just leave videos and they need to com I need to commentate on them before I can edit them? Well, apparently, I still have Bloons TVX videos that I edited and still have not commentated on. But since Balloons TDX died a long time ago, I'm not gonna upload those videos. The funny thing is, it literally died the moment that the final update came out. Like, no one even was like, hey, why not let's beat this game? It died before that even happened. And how do I know this? Well, this is just on my channel personally, so... I don't know. But basically, my second most popular video at the time, that was a long time ago. I think it was uh, in like December, January. Actually, I don't remember when it came out. But it came out sometime. Yeah, I don't know when it did. But it did come out a long time ago. So basically, my second most popular video was a video where I made about bugs and balloons. I mean, balloons DX. And basically, it was just going up, and I'm like, hmm, I might actually beat my secret achievements video. We all know that never ended up happening, because it was like everything was going fine. The view gap was at around 100, and all of a sudden, my secret achievement video just skyrockets. Now the view gap is around 1,000. But yeah, and then that video just stopped getting, gaining as much views as Bloom City X1. So yeah, I just assumed it died. No, but not as many people talk about it anymore, though. Not that there were many people who talked about it. But the game was... it was an okay game. It was pretty decent. It was better than Bloom City 6. That's up to opinion. I don't know, I like them both. I'd say Bloons TD6 is... It's not as hard as Bloons TDX. Bloons TDX is scary hard. Or maybe it's just me. But then, I don't really grind Bloons TDX that much. The levels are long, though. On easy mode, it's... 90 rounds. Oh, wait a minute. No, the harder the game gets, the less rounds there are. Oh, yeah. But I haven't, like, beaten that many easy maps, and I was like, hey, why not let's do Nightmare Mode? And then I was like, no. Because I always depended on the same... same strategy that I knew was never gonna go well. It's just like the strategy in this game. I'd always be like, you know what, since we can easily get money because this is easy mode or something. No, this is impossible actually. 75 rounds. I just be like, hey, let's get a super monkey and upgrade super monkey. And that's exactly what I did in Boons DX. I got a super monkey, and I just I got lots of super monkeys. Although the moment that I started playing impossible. Yes, it was impossible. I was thinking of nightmare. But, yeah. It was just like a wake-up call. It just struck me. It was like, the game's like, Hey, guess what? We're gonna send you harder balloons. So now you can't buy 20,000 farms and farm 60,000 super monkeys. So that you can pop every balloon before they even appear on screen. We're gonna make life miserable for you. You're gonna have to use all the weaker towers. And I was like, Oh no. I don't even know what the weaker towers do. I'm like, I haven't even unlocked most of the upgrades yet. And I was like... I, I just didn't even know how to place them. I didn't know... Yeah. 
I basically just didn't know what they did what, which ones were better for what. So it was at that moment right there, I was screwed. And yeah, later on, just quit the game. You know what, I could watch some of those older clips. That reminds me of something. And... And I just remembered that... Balloons T... Okay, my Balloons folder takes up a lot of storage on my computer. A few days ago, this... The one terabyte storage that I had... When I first got my computer, I was like... Hmm, one terabyte. That's, that's awfully a lot. I'm probably never gonna fill it up. And boy, was I wrong. The moment I started filming videos, it, it dropped from, we have 700 gigabytes remaining, and just kept slowly closing in. And a few days ago, it closed to around 30 gigabytes remaining. And I just deleted a lot of stuff, and I put all the videos that I finished making onto uh, an external hard disk. Although here's the problem, the external hard disk is, is also starting to fill up. Oh boy. I want to say, but it gets better, but it doesn't. I mean, in a sarcastic way, it doesn't, because there's nothing that does go worse. All my finished videos are on that disk. All my videos in process are on my computer's disk. And yeah. There's something I want to say. Oh yes, right. You know how in this video, apparently, I clicked on the little rocks and I found out you could remove it? I didn't even know about that. I first heard about the removing stuff in Bloons TD6 when I saw this pop up and I was like, guess what? If you, in these intermediate maps, you can sell all this junk on your map so you can actually place towers in the actual good spots of the map. Yeah, I didn't actually know about that for this map. But then really, do I need this river? The trees block Captain Cassie's view anyways. And I don't think blooms are gonna make it that far on the track. I have a super monkey. Just watch that super monkey obliterate those moabs. We're gonna watch that super monkey obliterate the BAD later. Not himself. Imagine if the wizard nunchucks worked on the BAD. My super monkey could literally solo it. But what about the BDTs, you ask? Oh yeah, by the way, did I forget to tell you I have camo eyes? Camo eyes. The bane of camo balloons. Wait. <laughs> I call it Dragon Eyes Camo Eyes. The trinket is called Dragon Eyes. So all the epic trinkets that I heard about, I'm like, oh, they're so good. And then I try to get them, like the 4D sword. It's really good, by the way. So try to get it. And then, no matter how much hard I try to get a certain trinket, I just don't get it. It's like when I first tried getting Demo. It took forever to get Bemo. Bemo was like one of the last allies I got. But then all of a sudden now I have way too many Bemos. Just a lot of them. I think I have one Bemo for every ally that I have for it. At least half that I will bring with me on the, on the actual game. Also, basically, for the trinkets, you know the Fox Wand Cannon? It was a, it's actually a really good trinket, but I didn't know about it, and then when I got it, I'm like... I didn't actually get it until a long time, because I kept picking other stuff over the Fox Wand Cannon, because I was like, that can't be a good trinket, it just looks... The description just says, it brings ideas to real life, so your balloon... Uh, Moabs that get popped, that got hit by it, drop loot, and then I'm like, drops money or lives. Do I really need that? I have Bemo for money, I have banana replicators on some of, on characters like my Super Monkey, and lives, we have Growfist, so why would I ever need lives? 
Plus, I can't really... I can't get lives over a maximum unless I use trinkets. Or maybe I can, I don't know. At least from my experience, I never got lives over the maximum without trinkets. Yeah. So I was like, hmm, that's a really useless upgrade. I'm sure my wizard epic one is good enough for Flame Princess. But then, oh boy, when I got that one, my life flipped from being upside down to right side up. It's like, ZOMG inbound. ZOMG gets popped. I'm like, is that an epic wish orb? Picks it up. I'm like, oh boys. Just watch this lag. Oh yes, the knockback is only gonna make it better. Look how much money I have. $55,000. That's still not enough for a temple. I mean, a true sun god. Actually, I don't know. I haven't had it unlocked. Maybe it is enough. So just watch Marceline work on that bad. There goes the bad. The DDDs popped so quickly, I didn't even know they existed. That's how good they popped. Ice King can be placed on lava, water, and ice. Yeah, you know those little pop-up things that I always tend to read? I wonder if everyone else reads them, or do they just skip them? Well, it's like a loading screen, so I assume everyone's just gonna be bored of waiting, and they're just gonna read it. But I didn't even know the Ice King could be placed on that until I read it, which... Yeah. That was a really bad rare- oh my- okay, that was a really bad rare wish orb. Shard, shard, more shards. Eventually, one day, I'm gonna shard my way to an epic wish orb. Oh wait, I have 28,000 shards. That's like multiple epic wish orbs, actually. These are all Prince Bubblegum guns. When do I ever need Princess Bubblegum guns? Almost never. Anyways, I'll leave the episode off right here. See you guys next time.